Leaked images show us a Galaxy S7 Edge in glossy black in its full glory. Other leaked images have Huawei investing heavily on curved displays, and believe it or not, the iPhone 8 might bring a change in its charging technology. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, thank you for your feedback over yesterday's animations on the video. We would love to know more about your feedback for today's as well. This is Pocketnow Daily. The official news today begin with deals. We did not like Verizon taking over the exclusivity of the Google Pixel, but this deal is compelling. You can get the 32 gigabyte variant for just $10 a month if you sign up to a leasing program for 24 months. And if you go for the 128 gigabyte variant, that's just $15 a month. That is insane. And during those two years, you will be getting Android software updates galore. So I would go for it. And speaking of Verizon, other deals that are more focused on Best Buy include the Moto G4 Play, which is the prepaid phone that Verizon's offering for just $50. And there are a ton of Samsung tablets on Best Buy right now that are starting at 70 bucks, $90. That is just crazy. And even though these tablets aren't great, hey, a tablet for your kids, that's a really good deal. Now, even though we don't believe that Apple is going to make the move into wireless charging, KGI Securities is famous for their rumors and tips. And according to trusted sources, the iPhone 8 will include some sort of wireless charging. Now, if you think of it, it makes a lot of sense. People are really hating on Apple over the whole dongle mentality. So that would make a ton of sense if also Apple would figure out a way to not force us to leave our phones in a pad. That's the part I don't like about wireless charging. Now let's talk about Huawei. The company has made an amazing splash this year with some really great dual camera phones. And that all started with the P9 and its whole Leica branding. But that is moving forward. We've got some leaked images of the Huawei P10. We see the dual cameras, but what makes this phone awesome is the dual edge display. We saw it in the Porsche design of the Mate 9. So it does seem that uh, that is the way to go for Huawei going forward. And we love it. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with Samsung and its glossy black Galaxy S7 Edge. We reported the news yesterday. Today we have leaked images of the phone and the changes are mainly the fact that it's true black in both glass variants. And then on the borders, everything is a matte black, just like in the iPhone 7 Plus or iPhone 7. And this is interesting mainly because, well, it's weird for Samsung to be announcing products so late. We still don't know when we're getting this product, but it does lead me to the question of the day. Even in its uh, full glossy black glory, would you go for this Galaxy S7 Edge or would you wait for the Galaxy S8? In my case, I would wait for the Galaxy S8, but leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.